it's a template of a full mouse set of x-rays. Okay? Uh, when we take a full mouse set of x-rays, it consists of four bite wings, two bite wings of the right side, and two bite wings of the left side. And it also consists of uh, three, five, six, seven PAs on the top, and seven PAs on those bottom teeth as well. Okay? Um, if you can see, if you start on the upper right side, you see the pictures right there, you see at D1 and at D4, what that means is on that PA, you want to get the distal surface of tooth number one, and at least the distal surface of tooth number four, which is the second premolar. Can you guys see that? Okay. So on the second PA, you want to get at least the mesial surface of tooth number three, to the distal surface of tooth number six, which is your canine, upper right canine, okay? Uh, the uh, centrals, you want to get the canines right in the center, and that's why you hit, and M6 means the mesial of six. When you get the uh, distal of six on the second PA, your main objective will be is to get the mesial surface as well, because the canines are in that curvature, the way you place that the, the cone, you're gonna when you take the uh, the the second PA, you're gonna get the distal surface, but we also want to get the mesial surface. So make sure that when you're placing the cone, when you're taking the third PA from the from the from the right here, uh, you want to get position it where you're gonna get the mesial surface of the canine, which is tooth number six, and when you're doing it on the other side, you want the the mesial surface of tooth number eleven. Okay. Uh, the, the middle PA, you want to get those two centrals right in the center. Again, the PA of the canine on the upper left side, you want, you want to get the mesial surface of tooth number 11. Uh, the first PA you take on the left side, you want to get at least the distal surface of tooth number 11 and the mesial surface of tooth number 14, which is your first molar. Okay? The last PA that, you, uh, that you're going to uh, take on the upper right side, you want to get the distal surface of tooth number 13 to the distal surface of tooth number 16, which is the last molar, okay? So it's like the ones you're kind of splitting them, certain ones. Yes, okay? And um, when you take the bite wings, you want to get the distal surface of the canines, whether it's the upper or the lower, uh, you want to get the distal surface of the canines and obviously just the mesial surface, for example, the one on the right side, you want to get the mesial surface of tooth number three and the mesial surface of tooth number 30 and the lower, okay? When you take the second, uh, the, uh, the second uh, uh, bite wing, you want to get the distal surface of tooth number four to the distal surface of the tooth number one. That's what those D's and M stands for, distal and mesial. And the number next to it is the tooth number that you're, that you're, that you're getting. Okay. Uh, when you're positioning the films on the XCP rings, you want to have the A on the base of the XCP ring. You don't want to have the A towards the apex of those teeth. Okay. Uh, and uh, the the reason for that is if we're looking for an abscess, and every X-ray. The, the, the extras that Dr. Osetta showed you earlier, they have a little dimple. That's the equivalent of the letter that you see in the digital extras. Okay? If the A, it's on the top, that may be covering the apex of the canine or a molar. And if we're looking for an abscess, that's going to cover that up. So we always want to get the A towards the biting surface. Okay? And the A always goes towards... The, uh, you know, once, once you position it and you mount the x-rays, the ones on the right side, they're going to be bottom towards the, towards the mesial, and the ones on the left side, they're going to appear towards the distal, okay? And when you're mounting the x-rays, you can always look at those letters, and it gives you an idea, okay, is this the one on the right side or the left side as well, okay? When you're mounting the, uh, the x-rays on the uh, XCP ring for the bite wings, you always want the A towards the outside, towards the mesial, or towards the metal of the XCP ring, okay? So you always want the A, uh, and the, uh, when you, uh, and, and don't, don't worry about whether the A is on the top or the bottom. Um, as long as the A is towards the mesial, 
and the right side is always going to be on the bottom towards the mesial, and the left side is always going to be on the top towards the mesial of those teeth, okay, towards the front or towards the midline, okay? Because it's a bite wing there, the A isn't going to obstruct anything we need to see, like it would on a PA. So it, on the right side, if you flip it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether it's on the top or the bottom, as long as it's towards the outside, okay? The A is not supposed to be towards the distal. It's always towards the front, you know, T, okay? Uh, same thing going on with the lower PAs. Uh, you want the A and towards the biting surface, okay? And when you place the A towards the biting surface, that is the biting surface of the XCP ring. Because the biting surface of the XCP ring is always going to be on that surface, obviously, of the, on, the, on the biting surface of the upper T, and on the biting surface of the lower T, okay? So in Dr. Rosette, we'll show you where's the biting surface on that XCP ring once you get to, uh, uh, to, his, um, to the lab, all right? So you guys get those numbers, what the numbers that we have there? Okay. Now, when we're practicing putting these x-rays together, right now we're going to do this next. Um, most, don't worry about the, the only thing you have to worry about right now is the dimple facing you. Some of the uh, previous assistants did not use this technique right here. So the dimple sometimes is on the, on the, towards the apex of some teeth or sometimes in the right spot. Okay. So, but I'll show you how to put these x-rays together and uh, how to mount, we call this, you know, mounting the x-rays. And uh, we're gonna take them out of these sleeves, and you're gonna, you guys, I'm gonna, we're gonna show you how to, you know, mount them properly. Okay.